Hi YouTube. So today I want to talk about why we blame white people for everything. Um, I'm going to play this poem for you that this beautiful black queen has uh, performed and I gotta warn you, it's loud, it's abrasive, and it's annoying. So, let's watch this video and I'll come back. In 2010, six black teenagers drowned in the Louisiana Red River. Researchers found that 70% of black people do not know how to swim, that black kids are three times more likely to drown. The question became, why do blacks possess the fear of water? I've heard sharks followed slave ships crossing the Atlantic Ocean, trailing black bodies thrown overboard. I heard during slave time, white masters refused to let blacks learn them to swim because a swimming slave could get away, could swim to freedom, could figure out a way to wade in the water. I heard that little black kids ain't nothing but gator bait. Gator bait let you catch an alligator so big, so vicious, it bite like racism. Black mamas be like, keep your kids out the water. It ain't safe, child. I heard a Jim Crow North and a Ku Klux South kept coloreds out of public swimming pools and off public water fountains. I heard they hose niggas down with a firefighter water hose like you hose down a rabid dog in the summertime heat of New Orleans. I heard come hell a high water, they were gonna watch niggas drown in a hurricane down south. Heard they knew the levees was gonna get in and break new the waters was coming to wash niggas away tell me how do a nigga keep their head above water if niggas can't swim niggas can't doggy paddle niggas can't tread water niggas jump but never jump in our sprint you swim niggas can't float our bodies too dense we don't fuck with the rain because i had just got dead i heard yesterday in detroit they cut the water off i heard the water don't run i heard the faucets run dry i heard kids are dehydrated niggas is thirsty I heard they've been gas been for been drowning in oppression for what feels like forever ever since crossing the Atlantic been feeling lost at sea been feeling like a fish out of water like a body sinking in the deep end like treading troubled waters and drowning yeah. all right so don't say I didn't warn you wasn't that abrasive the way she uses the N-word just indiscriminately just that's what she thinks of black people. I really don't understand all that. Um, so here's the thing. She has made the inability to swim the fault of history, fault of other people. And never did she say, gosh, black mothers, they're the one raising her should be teaching their kids how to swim so that they can be safe in this world. No, no. It's someone else's fault. This is what I don't appreciate, you know, that we as black people have been doing for the last few years is just blaming everyone else for every problem that we have when it's on us. It's on us to teach our kids how to swim. It's on us to not name our kids things that will guarantee they don't get jobs later, you know? Um, whose fault is it if you've got a felony record and you can't get a good job? Who did the crime, you know? Why is it that it's always someone else's fault with us? I just don't understand it, and I don't uh, support that notion. So, how... <laughs> did you hear the applause after her poem you know from people and if you read the comments I'm going to post the link in the description box so many people you know were just so thrilled by how angry she sounded and how passionate she was for them that was just everything our society is just running on emotion running on emotion instead of logic and reason personal accountability. If your kids can't swim, teach them how to swim. <laughs> I 
If you can't swim, go and learn how to swim. I learned how to swim in college. I just made myself take a class. But I think a biggest part of why black people don't get in the water is because of the hair, you know? I mean, it's a, it's a big deal. <laughs> you cannot get that fake stuff wet. The lady making this fucking porn ought to know that firsthand <laughs> that she can't get that wet. And whose fault is that? Why did you get that in your hair, you know? So, let's stop blaming white people for absolutely every problem that we as black people have when we could just make different decisions. If Detroit has shitty water, move out of Detroit. Yeah. Don't like the water? Move. Sell your house? Move. Get out of there. Neighborhood's too dangerous? Move. Yeah, it's no one else's fault that you are living in some crime-ridden area when you have, you know, fucking legs and you could leave. No sympathy for me. I just want you to know that. So, I'd like to thank um, the subscriber that sent this to me. I really appreciate you sending me this poem. I would have never found that on my own. So, and for the rest of you, please feel free to email me if there's a story you'd like for me to cover. I'm really shocked, you know, at this poem. I can't believe that she actually put that out there. I mean... As a poet myself, that was horrifying. And I won't talk about, you know, all the personal things I didn't like about her appearance and the way she spoke and all of that stuff. I'm just, it's not going to be that petty today, but it's there. So I'd like to thank Darius and Jay and Regina. I really appreciate your generosity. And thank you so much for supporting this video and for keeping me going. I really appreciate that, you guys. And I really um, just want to thank the new subscribers. Thanks for coming on board. Make sure you hit that bell sign so that you can know when I do upload a video. Thank you to my old subscribers for coming back and for always being so encouraging to me. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And I will see you guys next week.